Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the 2015 Valley Spring Faceoff Tournament. The Fraser Valley Sturgeons are taking on the BC Lightning. Live from Twin Rings, Langley, BC, with me as always, classic co host, Sean Simonson. Hello, and welcome back to the Twin Rinks of fabulous Langley, British Columbia, where we've got a matchup between the Fraser Valley Sturgeons in the white with their goaltender, Joe Hall, who I have to admit, I love that paint job on the mask. It reminds me of the good old days of Kirk McLean back when I was a boy. And at the other end, the BC Lightning, zapping you with McConnelly in goal. Uh, lightning zap, Simonson. You're absolutely right. Rocking the dark jerseys with the gray trim. There's the the sturgeon, and the game's underway, Simonson. The lightning stri trying to strike first, but Joe Hall shuts the door on him because he doesn't want to be bothered by any noise. He's got work to do. Here come the Sturgeon breaking out of their own zone. 16, Tompkins getting checked by a BC Lightning's player, but Gallows backs him up on the near side boards. 53, making moves, weaving around Lightning, ducking and dodging like he's in the eye of the storm. None of them striking him. It's calm, it's peaceful, but the Lightning are trying to turn things up. It's trying to make it some sort of thunderstorm here, Simonson, as they gain the zone on the left-hand side. Has a shot, and the Lightning strike first. 35, yet Chuck scores, assisted by 98, Ferroni, and 27, Gillen. Whoa, here we go. The action is started all with a spark, and it is the lightning out of BC. Here we go. So look at, there they go. They have the puck. They find their way through the neutral zone, zigzagging all the way from one end to the other, and holds on, battles off, checks, and sees Joe Hall goes down early. Fires it up and over up where there is lots of real estate. Yeah, tons of real estate, Simonson. Right up on the mountain where the lightning storm is forming. Or up high like in downtown where you got to buy upwards now. Oh, the penthouse there. Uh, here we go. BC Lightning on the left-hand side trying to find someone in the middle, but they can't. Giving chase on the near side boards. Getting checked by a Sturgeon. Sturgeon scrambling in their own zone a little bit here, Simonson. Need to make something happen. 43, the BC Lightning going to collect the puck on the far side. Feeds it to number eight on the one T and a big save by Joe Hall. Joe Hall doing what he needs to what needs to be done right now, Simonson. Yeah, Joe Hall had to react quick there. Here's the BC Lightning oh! up front in a two-on-one, which works out in their favor. And they're able to slide it past the sprawling Joe Hall as they go for the celebration bench five. You can see right here, number eight, Gillis feeds it to 17, Deshenny's, and Joe Hall sprawled out. Deshenny's has the entire right side of the net open to him, and he's obviously going to utilize that, Simonson. Look how happy this kid is. He just put his team up. Two nothing in the first five minutes of this hockey game. The Sturgeon have been here against the Wolverines. They're down a couple. They need to really start something and make something happen here, Simonson. Yes, they do. They get a shot off there. It's uh, number 53 for the Sturgeons walking in, makes a nice little move, cuts to the net, can't sneak that one past McConnelly and there's the puck scrambling around at the top of the blue paint, comes all the way back to the blue line, blue paint and out and it is Kira for the Sturgeons going winding up like a yo-yo string ready to get go-go, here we go now, here's the puck around, everybody oh. shoots and a beautiful save by McConnelly. What a save by McConnelly on Kara. Kara doing all the work right there, cuts in front, goes low, tries to go five hole, but McConnelly is not going to let anything in that region of his, Simonson. He shut the door on him. He, he kicked him out of his room. Enough is enough, he said. Uh, the Sturgeon going to retrieve the puck, number 11. Thine uh, gives it to 14 Bickerton. 14 Bickerton in his own zone. Ducking and dodging, gives it right back to five Smith, but the Lightning want no part in that and fire it blindly back into the zone of the Sturgeon who dump it all the way back down into the Lightning zone for an icing call. And there we are, there's the puck drop in the Sturgeon zone and it goes back to number 40 of the BC Lightning, throws one towards the net, but there's a bunch of bodies that interfere with the puck making it to its destination, just like a terrible WestJet flight that never <laughs> happened or something like I hear. Anyways, number seven of the Sturgeon coming, taking a shot. Oh! Big toe save, McConnelly. Big toe save by McConnelly. Hansen let that one rip. 
trying to go bottom left. McConnelly kicked the pillows out, put him asleep, Simonson, on one of those memory foam pillows. Oh, so soft. So comfortable. And it remembers your face. Oh, let's see if he remembers that shot, Simonson. Uh, here we go, Lightning battling number 90, Nash. Lightning with the possession in their own zone. Give it up to Nash. Nash has a puck, but he gets checked by a lightning. A lightning quick as Flash trying to turn back time and save their mother, but Hansen has the puck. Number seven, who feeds 17. Jensen. Jensen has the puck, and they score, Simonson! The Sturgeon are on the board, making this a one-goal game. Beauty by number 17, Jensen, assisted by 7, Hansen, and 14, Bickerton, to make that all happen, as you're going to watch right about there. Yeah, let's take a look at this here. So the puck is held in there, and there's number 7 there. Throws it across to 17, Jensen. So that was Hansen, or Hansen, yeah, Hansen, Hansen, Hansen to Jensen. Jensen. Connection, and it, it goes right through the goaltender of the BC Lightning as he was down trying to prevent it, but could not. Great job by Jensen keeping that shot low too as he pulled the puck and hooked. He was already shooting from a sharp angle. If he would have gone high, it most likely would have got saved, but he kept it low and slid it right behind him, Simonson. Excellent work by the Sturgeon. Nice little stick move there in the neutral zone by Kira, number 10, takes the shot Ooh. and the glove save. Was able to see that one like they had eagle eye vision. They sure did, Simonson. The Sturgeon are starting to turn up a little bit here, making something happen. 54 on the backhand. Nice Say by McConnelly, puck loose. BC Lightning going to pick it up on their own zone. Fire it up the far side boards. Number two giving chase, but it's the Lightning who are trying to strike quicker. Like the Flash, Simonson has a shot. Big save by Joe Hall. Oh, it's all tripped up. They're, oh my goodness, look at that, Simonson. They almost scored. We're going to run this one back. The BC Lightning let it go. The initial save by Joe Hall right there. Can't control it. Trying to get it out, but it's a big mix up there with the Sturgeon. And look at that, the puck just deflected off Tompkins skate and just went wide. That could have been dangerous for the Sturgeon. Could have been very dangerous because there was bodies all over the place in that last play that we just reviewed. There sure was. Luckily for them, it didn't go in the back of the net and it's still a one goal game. Here's the Sturgeon, number five, Smith, trying to make moves around the Lightning, picked up by uh, Thine, number 11, who looks like there's a two on, oh, number 11 and five has a shot and a huge save by McConnelly there to keep this game at one goal for up for the BC Lightning. Yeah, okay, so look at there. Uh, number 11 walking in, takes Ooh, the shot, and that, then it caught the, the nub the, of the stick. That was a nub save. That wasn't even a blocker. That was going in if it wasn't for McConnelly's nub of the stick. Huge save when you slow that down. You really get to appreciate it. Things that you wouldn't see when you don't slow things down, Simonson, I tell you. Very true, very true. There's Kira with a shot from oh! the boy, and it makes it through the five hole of McConnelly because I'm pretty sure there were screens in front the whole way, and it looked like he was battling to see where the puck was, and as he was looking over one way, the puck was coming right between his legs. We call that one the Pink Panther, like the intro, you know, when he's sneaking around. Look at that puck. Is it did it, 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 go. <laughs> there it is. What a goal by number 10, Kara. Beautiful job by everyone screening the goalie. A lot of traffic. That's what you want, Simonson. And like you've always told me, if you want to score, you got to shoot. So he took the shot, and things just went his way. Here we go. Number 90 getting checked by a BC Lightning. Hansen going to retrieve the puck there, but the Lightning is striking. Great work by 10 carry. Keep it in. Hansen still battling with the BC Lightning. Nash going to give help. Hansen fighting the puck behind him. 17 Jensen trying to put in work. Everyone's trying to work here, Simonson. The Sturgeon are fired up after tying the game. BC Lightning trying to get it out of their own zone. Really having a hard time with all the pressure that the Sturgeon are putting on him. And that's going to be the end of the period. And what a great period it was. We've seen back and forth action from both teams. Going into the second, we got a 2-2 tie game here, Simonson. All knotted up, it's all even, it's as if nothing has happened. You can take your goals and you can score it already and you may as well throw them out the window. Get them out of here. Because we're all knotted up. Somebody has to score the next goal in order to break this tie. Here so here we are, it's White, number three, walking in, trying to move with the dangles, takes a shot oh! and sneaks it past the ear with a little whisper. 
I'm in. Oh, he's in there, Simonson, with the beautiful power-up, Sally. Look at that. All smiles on this kid. The Sturgeon were down. They just got up, Simonson. Let's run this back. There we go. The Lightning give it away. White there to pick his pocket right to him. And here he goes, Simonson. He turns up. He goes for a skate like he probably learned in all those power skating lessons that I'm assuming he took. Goes around a Lightning player. Sharp angle. Has a shot right off of the shoulder area of McConnelly in the back of the net and a beautiful goal by White to put his team up one in this such a close game Simonson this is true and look at that the beautiful Selly and a beautiful goal to boot oh, I got a little tongue tied there I was super excited I'm, I'm right into this Simonson what a game and in a close game like this you're, it really sucks you in it's, it's entertainment at its finest form uh, especially with I mean these are eight year old kids and they're playing better than some of the beer league players we watch yeah, this is true. Oh! One off the post. It bounces behind Joe Hall. He got lucky there by his best friend. Goal post. Oh. And goal post knows best. It says, hey, Joe Hall just dropped down and cover up this puck. And it goes back the other way. A nice little passing play by the Lightning, which gets foiled because he couldn't handle the puck. And then uh, it gets turned around and they have it again. Goes and tries to get past 54, but that's too much of a match for him. So then he... It's a big scramble. Take it away, Coach. Big scramble right here. The Sturgeons are battling the Lightning. Lightning trying to get out of their zone. Getting pressure by Sturgeon. Chopped down. No penalty on the play. P uh, puck, play continues. The puck, it's like you said, Simon, it's a, a big scramble. Like they're just frying eggs in a pan on a Saturday morning, scrambling those eggs. But here we go. Get a little space in between them. And it's a Sturgeon in the Lightning zone. Has a shot. Nice save by McConnelly. Pressured by a Sturgeon. And the play's in a stop. Here we go, the Lightning coming through, trying to dangle through players, but they can't quite do it. 53 has it, walks in on the near side, down into the corner, cutting towards the net, fires a backhand out front to seven, takes a shot, oh! scores! Number seven, Hansen gets the goal, assisted by Gallows, who started that all with all that hard work you did, and he's gonna celebrate first, Simonson. But look at that, he deserves it. Gallows stripped the Lightning's player right there, gets the puck, turns it back into the zone, and turns on the afterburners. I'm gonna say that all day long because that's what these kids are doing. On the backhand, Feeds, oh look, the goalie had it. Feeds Hansen. Hansen gets a puck. Sharp angle again here, Simonson. Tucked it right behind McConnelly. Yeah, no, it was a good one there. And they're keeping on and they're making sure that they're coming back from the last episode that they had against the Wolverines. Yeah, yeah. Well, this, this team, uh, Sturgeon, are one and one right now. I believe if they win this game, uh, there's one more, and that'll decide if they make it to the finals or not. So it's important to get the W here, Simonson. So they're battling. Uh, speaking of the Sturgeons, here they are. Number seven, Hanson, who's definitely been a recognizable name out there tonight. Doing a lot of work, uh, but it's the BC Lightnings who turn it around in the neutral zone. Uh, number 67, it looks like Gill there uh, has a shot and goes wide, but a Lightning there. Pick it up and they score, Simonson! 16, Howie scores, assisted by 67, Gill, and the Lightning aren't going to bend over and take it like that. They just came within a goal and they're hungry. They want this W just as bad as the Sturgeons do, Simonson. They both want to advance to the finals. Well, you know they say Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot. And see, there's Joe Hall. He just heard a thunder strike. He looked to see if there was more, but he was looking the wrong way. Uh, it was striking in another spot. Uh, it was a couple meters away. He was counting down the seconds after the thunder. He didn't know where the lightning was going to strike, and uh, we just seen it unravel in front of our eyes, like some of those photographers and videographers that miraculously capture those spectacular lightning storms on film. Yeah, in slow motion to boot, just oh. like us. In 4K, 60 frames to boot, Simonson. Not a lot of people can do that. Here's Gallows, one-on-one -on -one with the lightning's goal. He makes him move on the forehand, and he gets stoned by McConnelly. Gallo still battling, though. Lightning pick up the puck, trying to get it out of their zone. No more danger. Pet picks it up on the backhand, feeds Bickerton. Bickerton loses the battle to a Lightning's player. Number 17, Deshenes fires the puck. Nice save by Joe Hall. Puck goes back to 19. Pet, who rings it around the far side boards. A Lightning there to try to keep it in, who he does white pressure in him. 18 as well. Puck just all over the place, Simonson. 18 battling with the Lightning's player, and the Lightning are going to get the puck and fire it back in the Sturgeon zone. Yeah, it's in here on the near side in the corner in the Sturgeon zone where the Lightning come out with the puck from behind the net, but it's four Sturgeon on one Lightning. I don't know how you bet on those odds, no. but uh, 
It uh, sounds on, scary. On Bet306.com or whatever it is. Probably got it wrong, but uh, that's because we're not sponsored by them yet. Regardless, here's Gallows. They're on the Sturgeon making moves for everyone. Oh my goodness, Simonson. He just tucked that puck so gently. Bottom left, beat out McConnelly, and he just put the Sturgeon up. Five to two, I believe, in this hockey game. Oh, sorry, five to three. What a goal. Yeah, here we are. So it looks like there was White had it, and then it's uh, Gallows that comes out with it. And he picks it up and gets going. Look at the feet moving, the crossovers happening. And then that's what gets all the speed there and goes around all the defenders and then doesn't Ooh. quite get everything on that shot. As you see, the defender for the BC Lightning had gotten their stick on their stick and that had fooled the goaltender, McConnelly, because he thought that one was going upstairs when there was never any chance for liftoff. Yeah, I didn't see that until we slowed it down. Then you could tell the BC Lightning's player actually got his stick on the shot so he didn't get all of it, but he still got enough of it and it was still placed in the proper position to go behind the goalie and pick that corner. Here we go, back in action. BC Lightning hold the zone of the Sturgeon. Sturgeon trying to get it out, they do. Lightning not gonna accept that for an answer. They'll put it right back in. Just a back and forth battle. 54 Kara with the big elbow on Yatchuk and the whistle's gonna be blowing. There's gonna be a penalty on that play. That's interference, Simonson. It looked to be that way. Okay, so there, yeah, just kind of, and uh, the elbow also kind of came out a little bit, it looks like, but you know, who am I to say? Ah, uh, who are we to say? We're just a couple, couple guys doing some commentary. Maybe having a beer, maybe having a juice. You never know. Um, but uh, here we go. BC Lightning back in the Sturgeon zone. Number 16, Howie battling on the far side boards. Looking for someone to help, but there's no one there. So he just gives it away. Sturgeon pick it up. Number 18, nice work by 18. But it's a BC Lightning's player who fire it all the way back down. Bickerton going to pick it back up. No, it's a scramble, Simonson. It's all over the place as the Sturgeon try to get it out of their zone. Again, held in by the BC Lightning. Great job from the hold the point. And look at that. They scored. As I was just talking about holding the point, that's what made that goal all happened. Ferroni scored because of holding that point. Great defensive work by the BC Lightning, Simonson. Yeah, I want to take a look at this one here because I didn't quite see it. So there was the clearing attempt there by the Sturges. Held in at the point by the BC Lightning player. Throws one to the net and it bounces along the way and Joe Hall must have been screened because it looked like he was down searching to see where the puck was and meanwhile it was airborne and then there was bodies in the way. Yeah, it was like a Where's Waldo book, Simonson. He was trying to search through everyone and he couldn't find it. Uh, it's a one goal game here. The Fraser Valley Sturgeon with five, BC Lightning with four in the third period. We got ourselves a real good hockey game here. Uh, Fraser Valley Sturgeon, 53 Gallus uses the boards to bank it up, but 67 Gill picks it up from the Lightning. And that's going to be the game here, Simonson. It looks like going into the third, I meant. <laughs> Not the game. I meant the period. The period. Sorry, a little tongue tied there. <laughs> That's okay, coach. Got a little ahead of yourself. Here we are, 54, and the Sturgeon takes a shot. That one's saved by McConnelly, directed to the near side corner, and it's thrown back in front. But then it comes to the near side up at the top of the circles, and it is five. Smith has it, walking the line. He's going, weaving around as he gets momentum going, throws it to the front of the net. Tip action happening, Ooh. but it never makes it to the net. And there's the Sturgeons coming out strong, trying to get all over the Lightning. The Lightning go to clear it on the far side, and it's a Lightning player that goes and picks it up and he throws it down the ice is it gonna be enough for icing is it is it yes yes it is the question we were all waiting for yes it is Simonson Sturgeon pick it up turn it around has a shot oh lucky for the lightning that McConnelly was there and aware of that puck because it was bouncing around like it was in a 1980s pinball machine uh, and it got on him here we go BC Lightning in the Sturgeon zone battle behind the net of Joe Hall pressure Immense pressure, big battle there. Lightning get away with it, go for a wrap around and Joe Hall's there to make the save. Referee, there's the whistle, took a little while to blow it and the Sturgeon need to stay strong here if they want to win this game with the amount of pressure that the Lightning are pouring on right now, Simonson. Well, and that save was like a need to have save at that moment there by Joe Hall. So the p players are gonna be patting him on the back for that. 100% Simonson, here's the Fraser Valley Sturgeon. Oh, it's just so many bodies so close together. They need to separate it. Oh my goodness, did you see that save by Joe Hall on 43 Black? We're gonna run this back. 
back here. Look at that. BC Lightning's player. Joe Hall makes a first save and then block on the backhand right off of the helmet into the glove of Joe Hall. And that one was huge for the Sturgeon. Yeah, that rebound. I guess you could say he's seen it coming. He hit him right in the face. He's seen it right in, uh, in HD, Simonson. He's going to see it again in 4K. Here we go, and uh, McConnelly covers it up with 3 minutes 32 seconds left in the remaining period. And it's number 11 for the Sturgeon. Comes in, shot, oh. and it's saved. But then it, then it goes to the corner, and then it's rung around the boards to the far side for the Lightning to go and pick up. And that's at their line. They clear the zone, but it is collected up by 17, who can't ga gains the zone, but then is quickly evacuated out of the zone and back into the Sturgeon zone with 14 having it going around the net and he's about getting pressured by two to three lightning strikes and they are coming after him and they are zapping him. Boom, 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 boom. They're zapping hard, Simonson. The Sturgeon get away with the puck 17 right to Hansen. Hansen gets tripped up a little bit. Lightning keep it in. Barely right there, dangle it around the Sturgeon, throw it deep down in the net, goes behind the goalie, Joe Hall. Lightning going to pick it up there. They need to clear that zone. Ref with the whistle right in his mouth. And that's the game here, Simonson. The BC Lightning have been defeated by the Sturgeon. Five to four in this hockey game. And what a game. The Sturgeon was down two nothing to start this. And they came back to get the W. That's what you do when you want to win. You got to keep your heart in the game and keep trying. Yeah, and there's number three, White, who played a hell of a game, getting one of the awards uh, from the coaches. And we got another one coming up here, Simonson. Number 54, Kara. And a beautiful game. Thank you and good night from Twin Rinks, Langley, BC.